nestled in the heart of the Finger Lakes in upstate New York, is my hands down favorite place to herp, the Finger Lakes National Forest. The FLNF encompasses over 16,000 acres of woodland, gorges, swamps, streams, fields, lakeshore, grazing land, and old abandoned homesteads, the ruins of which can still be found scattered across the forest. It is the smallest national forest in the country and the only national forest in New York. I am fortunate enough to live within a 10 minute drive of this natural playground, and for herping in New York, this land cannot be beat. Within the forest borders, I've found eight species of frog, nine species of salamanders, eight species of snakes, and two species of turtle. Other more elusive herps live here too, including the coal skink, black rat snake, and if the rumors are true, the state endangered timber rattlesnake. Several different variants of the common garter snake can be found here as well, and you can count on finding one even on the worst of days. Some of those individuals are truly unique. The springtime emergence of amphibians is a sight to behold. There is nothing more rewarding than shining your flashlight along the road on a dark rainy night and coming across a yellow spotted salamander searching for her breeding site. The springtime cacophony of spring peepers and wood frogs ushers in the spring, and as the season progresses, other frogs start singing and replace the others. Although the region is gripped hard by the winter for several months of the year, there is still endless beauty to be seen and discoveries to be made. And just knowing that spring is always around the corner makes it all that much more rewarding when it finally gets here. I've lived in this area nearly 20 years, and I still find new things every year. The Finger Lakes National Forest is not just a place to herp, it's my home. And it's the home of countless other animals, including the reptiles and amphibians that draw me out of my house and into this land of forests and field, streams and lakes, old rock walls and cattle ponds. New York may not have much to offer the herpers of the American West or Southeast, but it is my home and I never take for granted what it has to offer.